Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Facepalm Studio. In today's Thursday Tech Tips, we're going to be talking about um, something really cool that I found out that you can do with your Mac um, while I was getting things working uh, first starting out on this computer. Um, I've never been a Mac user before, and one of these features that I found is one of the coolest things I think you can do with your Mac, which they just implemented with one of these more recent uh, Mac OS updates. I believe they added it with Monterey, um, but it just it just made me so excited to be able to uh, have basically a second screen for my computer. Um, so we're going to be going over that a little bit today um, while working on my computer. So let's jump right into it. Here we are on the MacBook. And so what we're going to be working with today is uh, it's super cool. So right now I am also recording on my iPad um, and I have, I'm going to try to see if this works how I'm expecting it to. We're going to be jumping back and forth a little bit between the two so you guys can see what's happening. Um, so what all you have to do to be able to connect your Mac and use the same mouse. Um, so I have the Magic Mouse 2 um, for my MacBook and this also works with the trackpad as well. Um, if you're looking to control your mouse on your Mac, you have it, your Mac is working. The Mac wasn't what I wanted to say. If you're looking to control your iPad with your mouse, the easiest way to do that when you have, I think it has to be Mac OS Monterey, you just move your mouse over to the side of the screen where your iPad is, and it will automatically, there it goes. It will automatically move. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Let's see if it, ah, I already connected it. Okay, I need to, uh, how do I, do I lock this? Can I lock it for a second? What you can do um, when you're sitting here on your desktop for your Mac, um, I don't know if Mac calls it something different, but this is the desktop for your MacBook. Um, all you have to do to get your mouse to hover over to your iPad screen, if you're looking to control it a little bit easier, if you have your Mac and your um, iPad up side by side, is all you do is you're going to drag it over to the other screen and you're just gonna pull it against the side of the screen until your iPad listens to it. And let's see here, I just gotta pull it a little bit more, it looks like. And now you'll see here, you see this bar on the Mac, if we're looking over here now on my iPad screen, I have a little connection window that is showing my Mac and now it's showing a cursor up on the iPad here. So now when I pull this all the way over, now I am controlling and moving things with my mouse on the Mac. It is one of the coolest handoff features that I have seen on this before. And I'm pretty sure that they just implemented it for this kind of uh, ease of access. So now I can just kind of go in and I could open up like uh, my D&D &D apps if I needed to. I can come over here and procreate. Um, now I can't do quite the same amount of zooming. Oh wait, maybe I, maybe I can. Options, okay, no, not quite the same. It's trying to jump it over to the Mac, but I can now use my Apple Pencil and I can control things while on here, um, maybe. I don't quite remember what I was doing in this. Oh, I'm erasing things, that's not what I want. Let's make that back to black. So now you can see here, I can actually go and I can draw and I can work on here and my mouse is still connected using this. Now I do have the Mac trackpad here um, on the um, iPad as well. I have the magic keyboard. So now if I just want to go back over to my Mac, now I can jump over here and I am now using the trackpad. So my mouse is over here for the Mac. I am now using the trackpad for the, for the iPad over here on the MacBook. So this is me using the Mac tripad, uh, the, 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 the Mac trackpad over here. Super cool. Now, the part that I think is the coolest though, uh, I'm just gonna jump this back over here and close Procreate really quick. Um, the coolest feature that I think is implemented with this, and I don't know if this is gonna screen record, so we're gonna have to test it here, um, is when you're over here, I have the second screen set up now. So what we want to do is I want to actually mirror my desktop display and make a second screen using my iPad, which is what I'm going to do here. So. Right now, all it's doing is it's linking my keyboard and mouse. And how I got this menu is there's the, when you uh, connect your iPad like this, it brings up a display menu. So if I come into here, I can now come down to display preferences. And now it's already detecting that my MacBook Pro and my iPad are connected. So now if I click on display settings here, now I have the options to be able to make changes over my display. So right now I want my Mac to be my main display. And now, right now it's set for my iPad Pro to have limited limited keyboard and mouse uh, usage. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to extend or mirror this display. 
And now it's going to treat this like a second monitor. And I had this set up before where it was top and bottom, but now I'm going to move my iPad screen, just like kind of when you're uh, controlling your secondary monitors and windows, I'm gonna move it over to the left side here. And I'm hoping this is still recording on this side, but now you can see um, on my Mac screen, now I have a secondary monitor here that is for my Mac. So if I come over here and I can close this out, I can close this menu out. Um, let's open Photoshop. So now, um, now that we have Photoshop open, I'm just gonna go ahead and open the face home logo here. And we're just gonna go ahead and click and drag the menu over onto my iPad screen. And I'm just gonna drop it here. So now you can see I am now editing this on my iPad. So I can actually come in here with even my Apple Pencil and I don't know, let's see, I'm just gonna open up a brush here if it lets me. Come on. Cannot use the brush tool when more than one layer is selected. So let's let's make this, let's maximize this screen here. It hasn't quite figured out where it's at yet. Let's maximize this. Okay. So now we have my brush selected. I'm just gonna come over here into my background layer and I'm going to select a color. Oh, I guess it's black. So I am using the Apple Pencil right now and I'm going to just draw a little bit onto here. So I have actually, I have Apple Pencil support for Photoshop when I'm using, I believe this is called Sidecar or Continuity, over from my Mac onto here. I can now draw and utilize this secondary screen as my Mac. It is by far one of the coolest things that I've done on this computer so far since I've got it. Um, and now when I'm done, I can just bring this back, right back over to the Mac screen. Now we're back here already. That was another little quick video for Tech Thursdays, um, but I just wanted to show how cool and how much, like I, I basically have my iPad Pro as a secondary screen to my MacBook wirelessly. And it's just those little Mac tips and tricks that I love about this uh, computer that it's just so seamless to be able to do things like this with it. Um, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about how this works or if there's anything more about the Mac that you want me to investigate, please leave them in the comments below when you go to subscribe to Facepalm Studio here on YouTube. Um, we also have a Facebook and a Twitter. Um, if you guys are looking to uh, follow us there, I wanna try to take as many questions or as many requests as I can so that way I can create new content for you guys. Um, so there was at least no face palm with this video today, but if you guys have any questions or anything, um, please, again, just feel free to leave them down below. Um, until next time, guys, keep creating, save the pain, and I'll see you guys on the next video.